On today's show, the biggest transfer rumours involving Lewandowski, Bale, Wilshire and Sterling, plus big stories on the Premiership is back and Tevis picks up a random injury and we're seven, seven days till the start of the World Cup. Today's fact and news are Southgate speaks on Deli Ali and Pele's record, all today on One Football Daily. Hey one footballers, quickly before we start, remember to check out yesterday's comments at the end of this video and write a great comment yourself if you want a shout out. With that said, let's jump straight into the quick fire transfer rumours and paper talk. Big news is Bayern Munich's Lewandowski has described Real Madrid as his dream move and he could be a Real player by the end of the summer. Manchester City have opened up talks about offering Raheem Sterling a new contract. City have also promised to double Isco's wages and hand him a key playing role if he leaves Real Madrid. Madrid. Tottenham want to sign Sporting Lisbon midfielder Bruno Fernandes, but he'll cost 87 million. Chelsea are close to signing 15 year old Dutch teenager Jaden Braff. Everton are leading the race to sign Jack Wilshire from Arsenal. Liverpool, Spurs, and Arsenal will battle out for Wadford midfielder Adore Duque. And the biggest rumour is Gareth Bale has been convinced to join Manchester United by Jose Mourinho. Comment below any rumours that you've heard. Next up, the big stories of the day. The Premiership is back and Arsene Wenger is annoyed that Jack Wilshere and Kalasnet both picked up injuries during the international duty. However, Wenger should be annoyed with the news that Carlo Ancelotti has said that he would turn down the Italian job for a top team. Ancelotti has been heavily linked with Arsene's Arsenal job. Who do you think should be the next Arsenal manager? A bit of random injury news, former United City and West Ham player Carlos Tevez has shocked his team, Boca Juniors, by coming back to training with an injury that he picked up whilst playing football at a prison. We have two World Cup stories and our fun fact, Southgate has told Deli Ali that he's not a guaranteed starter and that he needs to gain more maturity on and off the pitch if he wants to maintain his place in the England squad. Next up, FIFA are investigating the alleged racist abuse France players received from Russian fans during their friendly. People were heard making monkey charts whenever Kante and other players went to take throw-ins. With that said, we are 77 days away from the start of the World Cup. Our 77 World Cup factors with 77 goals across 92 appearances. Pelé is Brazil's all-time leading scorer. Question is, do you think Pelé is the best player ever? Comment your answers below, but here come the best comments from yesterday. But that's it from me. I've been Anton Allen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.